Hey guys, happy Saturday to you. I am doing some balloon painting. I was introduced to this by my friend Judy who teaches preschool and she, I went to see her recently and she brought out some of the most beautiful paintings and she said that her preschoolers had done them using balloons and paint and I was just entranced. They were beautiful. I have not had an opportunity to try this until now. Um, I think that was back in December. But anyway, it was so much fun that I wanted to show it to you and then let you take off with it and do whatever you want with it. Um, it's one of those things where you could spend just hours and hours doing it, and I don't have hours and hours, but <laughs> maybe you do today. I, I blew up a balloon just like this, and... Um, I discovered that uh, the smaller the balloon, the more control that I had over the little project. So I kind of, I've got these two balloons that I'm using as brushes. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is use my bigger balloon. Um, nope, I'm sorry. I'm going to use my smaller balloon to set down a little bit of color. And I've got a little bit of purple mixed with some white here. So um, I'm just going to swish that around. And then I'm going to make some big dots right here on the paper. Next thing I'm going to do, I want, I want a purple border around these dots. I'm going to put my balloon in purple. And then I'm going to squeeze the balloon. Okay, so you're, you're going to, this is amazing what happens. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's just fun. It's just fun. Um, okay, I'm going to wipe off my balloon. And like I said, I mean, this could be a whole day thing. And children would love it. I'm going to go back. I want some more white. So I'm going to mix my white and my purple again. And kind of do a center for my flyer, fly, flowers. And then, and I hope this works, because the last time I did it, it did work. I want to add some petals. So I'm going to squeeze my balloon, dip it in some pink, and then I'm, I'm going to kind of just dip it off here. I'm hoping that this will work again. And then I just added petals to my funky little flower. And the balloon makes such a jolly little noise as it's kind of traveling around. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all, it's fun. It's just fun. Oh, look at those petals. I'm kind of mixing some colors over here. Oh, I picked up some orange. Must have done that for my friend Lorraine who loves orange. And there we go. We've got one more to do right here. Push. Push your balloon. And then pick up some red. And I mean, this is what I'm doing. I know you can't see it. It's off camera. And I really can't even explain how much fun this is. I mean, aren't they pretty? I mean, they're like mixed media, like, uh, you know. Okay, they're not Georgia O'Keeffe, but they're fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, I'm going to draw these and then I'm going to come back with, uh, with some pens and show you what I did next. Okay, friends, here is what I'm doing to finish my, my balloon flowers. You can do whatever you want. I took a Posca pen, a white Posca pen, and just did a few circles, you know, like on the petals, nothing... You know, nothing extraordinary. Um, and then I don't like a sketchy look 
when I use a Sharpie or anything. Um, so here, I'm just going to do, and you got to let these draw before you go back and play with them or you'll ruin your markers. And I think any kind of marker would work. Or you can just leave them as they are. I think they're really pretty just as they are. I think I'm going to leave that one like it is. Um, I'm just going to leave this one like it is. And then I'm going to leave this one as it is too. I might do some pencil sketching around here. Uh, this one is not quite dry because there's a big lump of white right here. But guys, try this. I mean, it's so much fun. And I think that your children would really, really dig it. Especially if it's, you know, like a, a too cold to get outside kind of day and it's balloons and it's paint and it's paper it's nothing could be simpler i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope that you try it thank you judy for the wonderful suggestion and for doing all the crafty work with your kids thank you guys so much i'll see you soon bye